you. <laughs> All right. You son of a bitch. <laughs> That's pretty good. How dare you. <laughs> You're doing that one. No, uh, I don't know if I can do one. that one. All right, Rex and Daniel, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tricks that I do for people. Just, that just I quickly. Love yeah, yeah. Is there a trick that's not your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Rex, you'll be my volunteer <laughs> oh. for this trick. Oh. And it involves matches and you have a beard. I, I, pre <laughs> I predict a rough time of this. So thing. we're gonna set this here. Right. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pinch these two antennas. Right. Okay. Just like that. Here, I'll hold it. You go ahead and pinch. Keep those pinched. Don't let them, they, they wanna slide around, so hold it nice and tight. I'm firm, man. <laughs> I'm gonna set this one up here. And now we're gonna see here, we're gonna ever so slightly pivot it. Here is the Look challenge. At me. Daniel. <laughs> yes. If you can karate chop down uh -huh. and break that thing right in half, yeah. I will, I will, I would, normally I'd buy you a drink, but instead I will uh, serve you a whiskey. Oh! What? Oh! He did it! <laughs> what the hell, Brushwood? Where's your magic now? <laughs> See what was funny is I thought <laughs> these are pretty cheap matches. <laughs> and there's only one side of striking surface on there these. There really is. <laughs> And coming up next is lot 87-43-2, a premium domain from domain.com. You can get a .com or a .net with uh, unparalleled... Hey, oh, hey, am uh, I on the air? Uh, we've got a caller. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, hey, it's Brian from Austin, Texas. Hi, how, Brian. How, how are you? Oh, I'm, I'm good. Are you, are you uh, looking to buy a .com yeah, or yeah, .net? Yeah, okay. So my grandma, she's got, she used to have the Flitterbug phone... But then we got a motor phoner blazer, mm -hmm. and the motor motor phoner blazer is real thin, and uh, it looks super stylish. She loves it. So you want to make a website for uh, her motor phoner blazer? Web website. You no. want to make a website? No, get a domain, she's got get the nice motor phoner blazer, and she looks super fashionable. And we we got a bedazzler on it. It looks super ju bejeweled. So you want to take photos and make a like a portfolio for your grandmother with, with her cell phone? That's a great idea for our website. No, get uh, premium domains. Uh, Wait Excellent a minute, are you trying to upsell me on a domain from domain.com? You're going to tell me that they're fast, easy, reliable, you get a 99.9% .9 uptime, and that you could get 15% off or use a promo code to scam school at checkout? That's exactly the idea of this commercial. Uh, well, no, no, I'm talking about the motor phone or blazer. Oh. It's a thin phone. All right, in de defense of the trick itself, I feel like we should show it actually working, and I will be the guinea pig here. All you right, go ahead, all right, sit all right. it on So up. you're saying it was my technique. You, you guys are the best, and I'm a big dumb dummy. Fine. All right. Um, all right, me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you don't know is Rex and I were practicing that for a week oh, you, yeah. to make sure we could pull it off and set you up. I had a grip on this. This was vice-like. Yeah. You this were, was mechanical. You were gripping too tight. Right. So, so this is actually Strong a really good like lesson. Bull, Brian. The first time we did this, we made sure that we got uh, double striking surfaces on mm -hmm. each side, and you want the bigger matches rather than the small ones. It still works, but it's a little bit dicier, and especially for an effect like this one, uh, I think we originally called it the, the Kung Fu match. Uh, the idea is... <laughs> They, oh, they, I like that. But the important thing is, uh, man, what a lesson that we learned that, that uh, flimsy matches and boxes uh, make a difference. I've learned so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, since the Kung Fu match doesn't work with crappy matches, I don't, have I ever taught you guys this? It seems like I would have taught you, you taught this. taught me nothing. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's one of those things where, where hold on. All right. You son of a bitch. That's <laughs> pretty good. How dare you. <laughs> what? Dude, that genuine reaction what? just made my day. I've never shown this to you guys. No. <laughs> oh, no, it's amazing. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, this was written up by Martin Gardner like uh, 80 years ago. So you'll notice when you strike a match, yeah. there's a little bit of smoke at the beginning. There's almost no smoke while right. it's going. 
and then when it goes out, that's when all the smoke is, right? Right. right. Turns out that among all of those phosphorescent chemicals, uh, poisons, I assume, that one of them draws out all the water vapor in your lungs if you inhale it. So what you do, uh... you ask a bunch of questions, you get all the air out of your lungs. You're like, oh yeah, I don't know if this always works. Yeah, here we go. So so you strike it towards your face, right under your nose. You act like, like oh, wind, I don't know. And then you hunch over and then you're gonna, it, it'll- um, It burns the sulfur. It's gonna tickle. <laughs> it's gonna be, yeah. like, again, this kills you. Nobody <laughs> should do this, but, but here's how it's done. So you strike it towards your face yeah. and you're gonna inhale. When the moment it stops burning, stop inhaling because you want you want the maximum amount of poison in your lungs and then. <laughs> so, oh. you're, that's amazing. So the moment you get past the initial flare. Right, right, okay, okay. all right, all right, gentlemen. All right, show me, show me what you got. You got a beard too, you gotta be so, careful so, about uh, this. Uh, bring it really close to your nose. You, it has to be through your nose? Yeah, yeah, let, yeah. Oh, otherwise it's just obvious. You're just like. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> yep. All right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, as slow as you can, release. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it came out your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it did come out my nose. <laughs> so I will say it is oh, my important. Eye. Wait. My eyes. <laughs> My eyes watering. It is important to do that little bit of pantomime. All the kids are doing the white fun. Yeah. <laughs> right, it, it is important to do that bit of pantomime to oh, sell yeah. it. Wait, are you gonna do it? Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Peer so pressure. Hunch, hunch all the way over. Okay. There you go, there you go. Don't and let your beard Strike fire. towards your face and inhale. All right, stop, shake it out, shake it out. Do the, do the pantomime, do the pantomime. <laughs> Oh god! Oh, that's nasty. See the real, the real hard part of this trick yeah. is not acting like you're dying in the middle of doing the trick. It's like, it's like you just vomited in your mouth. Yeah, no, it's oh. wonderfully awful. I use this as an opener, so when somebody sees this, they'll say like, uh, "Oh, how did you do that?" Never answer the question, right? Answer a question with a question. Say like, "Oh, did you like that?" I mean, what are they gonna do? Say no? No, of course. So it's like, uh, "Great, would you like to see another?" They're like, "Yeah." And then I'll follow it up with that jack-o'-lantern, which is you get a nice, decent flame, you bite it, and you inhale slowly. You're doing that one. No, no I don't know if I can do one. that one. Nope, nope. <laughs> How many times have you burned the roof of your mouth practicing that? 100%. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. Hydrocarbons all burn at around 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I so don't know what sequence of words you imagine telling me <laughs> that will convince me to try what you just did. What? What do you mean? Are you kidding me? All right, we'll save that for another time. All right, there we go. Good job, gentlemen. Cheers. <laughs>